All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy IX Let's Play. So, if you guys didn't miss out during the last episode, we went and explored around here within Brawn Ball and got to go and talk to some of the locals, and not only that, but also go and meet on over where Stoskin was at, uh, get ourselves with the extra items that we do need for that special ribbon reward, and also, too, we also did go and head on over to where the Moogle was at, and we also did get to go and get ourselves with some brand new equipment for our guys. Now, I believe right now here in this episode for today, we need to go and basically talk it over to Amrit and I think also as well talking it over to Kina so that we could add those two guys onwards to our team so that we could go and start heading on over to Pandemonium. Now I know that we're going to be getting ourselves I think into one more ATE before heading on into where Pandemonium is going to be at so we'll be seeing some other things with Zidane of course uh, but without further ado let's go and head on down through this way here and let's go and encounter out with that ATE. Now uh, hopefully you guys also did get to go and check out with the other video that is also happening out here for today which that of course is also being with pokemon rumble and uh i think also as well too uh you guys should be able to go and see that uh i think my friend kevin is also going to be a part of that video as well too for today so that's gonna be really awesome and uh I think, uh, I think throughout there, uh, we are going to be going and tackling out a few more other uh, different type of places that are going to be happening around uh, within the different terminals of Pokemon Rumble so that we can add some more new Pokemon onto our uh, onto our listing of stuff. Uh, so if so, then I am an enemy of the people of Gaia. So you learn quickly. So make no mistake, I won't join your side. Uh, just uh, if we are actually relatives, then hmm. Well, we're going to be learning more lore about things later on within Garland once we start heading on over to Pandemonium. So, we kind of have to hold off on that. But yeah, so go and talk over here to Amrit. So, say Amrit, did Prox go this way? Well, I think we did see that from the AT. So, yeah, he seems that he had a real serious look on his face. Well, I knew that something was wrong. Well, I'm going to go and look for him, right? Uh huh. Well, I'm trying to say I'll go with you, so catch my drift. Now, also, too, uh, one thing that I don't know if I ever said within the last episode, uh, but I did say uh, is that um, you should probably make sure to have everybody have full-on equipment because when we start going into Pandemonium, uh, there is going to be several different little sub-bosses that are going to be happening. We're going to be encountering out with one of those uh, type of uh, little sub-bosses back over at the uh, shopkeeper area during the last time when we went to Torino. Um, but there's also going to be some brand new other type of creatures as well too in the process and uh, you want to make sure that that when you get into those fights uh, with Zidane because Zidane's going to be like basically by himself but the rest of the other uh, group of our guys are going to be like showing up during those times anyways uh, for one that's going to be going on but you want to make sure that you have them already fully all set and ready to go before uh, that is even going to happen. Now I believe we only have I think one more uh, character left for us to go out and pick up here and I believe that's gonna be Kina and Kina's gonna be located over down this way here I think as well too so uh let's see ah hey there's Kina how's it going buddy so oh Iko, what happened to Prox you seem much worried well yeah I think that's what Everett also did talk about so I don't know he just left without saying a word well we go look after Prox together yes okay I, and I think uh, I think already uh, I think Keen already kind of did the licking of the Gullick Stone that we kind of saw a little bit from before uh, when we were kind of walking around with the, I think with Zidane I think during that time right so now we got ourselves our full group of guys that are finally out here so yeah so everybody should be equipped uh, now actually hold on one thing that I should probably go and do is that I have a checklist here for Ico which is not too much so I'm not gonna really go and cut this part out all that much out here so here we go. So now I got everything all set up and ready to go out here for Ico. And uh, let's just go and start moving forward and heading on over to where Pandemonium is going to be now this time around. Okay. So now we get to go through finally throughout this little teleportation place to get to see it for ourselves. So here's the same exact girl again. So how's it going? So now you listen to me. Where did you two go and take Prox? He went to his own to see his, well, to go see Garland. Oh, that sister name. But Prox would just go and leave us hanging. Well, he went, yes, and he went to find out the reason for his existence. Well, I, that's a terrible lie. Well, I'm the enemy of the people of Gaia, he said as he walked through the gate of Pandemonium. Hmm. Well, we gotta go and tell the others. And I guess that's what Ico is gonna do. But however, we're gonna be seeing Zidane's side of everything that's gonna be happening over here now. Now, uh, one particular sub-boss in, uh, like, during the time of us uh, hanging around with Zidane out here is that um, there's one boss uh, that is actually, I think, weak to Twister. 
Just like kind of like how, uh, like I think the Twister ability was kind of weak on over to Lich if you're uh, kind of lucky enough. Sometimes it doesn't really do as much, but it's kind of RNG for it for it to do like critical hits and whatnot. Uh, but the other one, which I believe is like the third one, is actually weak to ice as well. So we'll we'll be we'll be meeting up with those uh, type of sub bosses a little bit later. But really, they're not all that too bad. All right, so here we are. So we meet again. Whoa, so is that Garland? Yep, so it is him. So who are you? Well, 12 years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of the souls there. And you are that genome, and I'm glad they have returned. Whoa. So now we kind of know exactly what's happening uh, with Zidane here and this whole lore. So shut up. Nobody goes and tells me what to do. Well, and I didn't come here to go and answer to you. Well, let me guess. You must be Garland. And what if I am? Well, then you're going down. But first, you got to go and tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia, and how do you want to go and, and destroy us? Hmm. Well, I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to go and make Gaia into Terra. So what did you just say? Well, of course, not everything went as planned. Uh, you growing up on Gaia, for example. So there's another one uh, built as you were, so he may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. Well, he, well, who the heck are you talking about? Well, someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time is when the aura of the Gaia will turn to the crimson glow of Terra has not yet come. I just gotta say, Garland's OST is also pretty fire as well. I have to say, like like any type of OST here uh, with the Fall Fantasy Nine is really good. But let's go and keep on heading up a little bit more. So yes, and now we got ourselves the brand new text dialogue. We got ourselves with Pandemonium out here. Yeah, this place looks really cool. It's kind of a little, a little bit like uh, like Morrowind, somewhat with all those weird type of mushroom type of things going on. Now, not to worry, I don't think there's any enemies that are around here, so we just have to kind of just go and interact with Garland, and that's all about here to it. So now tell me everything. I constructed the genomes to be vessels for our souls and the people of Terra when, when they awakened. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was also too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should go and put the strength to good use, and I set that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls of Gaia. So yeah, so you tell me who is, who he is already. So this kind of has a little bit of like some Soul Blazer to it as well, because I know that in the classic SNES type of game, I know that Soul Blazer kind of dealt with like different souls about uh, about like trying to go and save like all the people like within that certain type of town or something like that. So the one that I sent to uh, Gaia must also be called your brother. So his name is Kudra. So Kudra, he's a genome? Impossible. He doesn't even have a tail. Well, that's the whole reason. Now, apparently, I, I think like... Um, I think we kind of heard a little bit of story about Kuja and why that he doesn't want to show off his tail because he feels like he's kind of like disowned or something like of that nature and he's kind of like uh and he doesn't really want to like show his true self so that's why he kind of wears that robe of his so that he doesn't have to show his uh, his tail at all so he said that the same thing speaking about the other genomes and i'm not like these guys well off we go let's head on over to where he's at now uh so we have to head up this way all right, and just like that, just keep on following until we go and reach into the next cutscene that's over here. And there he is. So his ambition was unbecoming of a genome, but I was perfect for the mission that I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia, that was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then why? The disruption of the flow of souls is the best brought about by war. And what he did for me was exceeded my greatest expectations. Hey, come back over here, you. I'm not done with your talking yet. So what about me? How did I end up on Gaia? Well, when you received the gift of life in Broad Ball, Kudra could not bear it. He could not bear to see the genome with more power than his own. He felt like threatened. Kudra discouraged you, and he dropped you into the Gaia, the world that he would destroy. So I was, uh, so I was be by your slave, just like Kudra, to start a war on Gaia. Well, that is correct. Oh man. So I did not expect Kudra to abandon you, but I believe it was his nature. And to bring him, bring you to Gaia would prove his victory over you. So that's just because of his desire to justify his existence that he just lets you live as well. So that is why that the blood of thousands has been spilled. Are you referring to Kuja's ambition or to our plan to disrupt the cycle of the souls? Both. And what exactly do you gain by disrupting that cycle of the soul or whatever? Hey, come back here, you. Uh, there you are. So we must go and sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain the souls filling of the void with the souls of Terra. To speed the cycle of souls, to speed the work as a whole, thus war. In the time, Gaia's souls are gone, and Gaia's become Terra. But how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Aoife tree and the mist in Emmets. 
The rule of the Ifa tree is the soul divider. The mist that you see comprises the straight, the, the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah, but we stopped the mist, so so much for that. And we have. Uh, but all you saw was the back of the tree. Even now that the Ifa tree blocks the flow of the Gaia's souls, while it lets those terrors flow freely. So come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. Oh man, so now we actually get to see everything behind the scenes now on what Garland is planning out on doing now. But what is this place? Yeah, we have to go and figure out more about that, though. So think of it as an observatory, a place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. So what are you talking about? What is this weird light? That is the center of the planet, the end of the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now, but when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra and its restoration will be complete. So yeah, so that's how we kind of knew about the different lights, is that in Gaia, it's all blue, and in Terra, it's all red, and Garland wants to make this whole area all red. But yes, the age of death, but only until you come, uh, come of age. But his soul is not eternal, and I was going to create you next, after all. So you mean that I won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon, that time will come. Well. Oh. Well, now that you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. What? Uh, so yeah, aware of all the laughter and all the tears that I shared with the people I grew up with on Gaia. Forget all that. You are destined to live among with the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the possession, and the motive to do it. But I wouldn't want that kind of power if I only had a place to call home. My brothers and Tantalus, Vivi, Freya, Amrit, Kina, the rest of the others, and Dagger. My home is just with them in Gaia. So if you say that I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra, that's the reason enough for me, uh, or for my birth here as a genome. Well, regrettable, I thought that you soul would be perfect for a new an a angel of death. Well, I am your new angel of death, yours. Uh, don't you know what it means to make your maker? Shut up, I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. The body has become a vessel, which is greets a new soul. Oh, and everything is now quiet now. What's happening? Uh, Garland is inside our head now? Well, that has been kind of happening here and there, but it's too good to make it into a regular genome. But I have no choice. So now, if I do recall, is that with this, is that we're going to be kind of like on some sort of weird throne and we'll be like kind of walking all weird looking uh, when, when like the dog gets up because like he may be like injured or something from all the things that's been going on. But hey, there's this man, Kuja. We haven't seen him for a little bit of time. But I think during this part of this cutscene, we'll be seeing like all the different like... Uh, like, I guess like, a whole bunch of different flashback moments within Zidane and how we were able to go and meet up with, like, Dagger and the rest of the other uh, characters that we've been having out here so far. Well, there's this ship. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've seen this exact same ship from before, so we already kind of know about that. Alright. And I think this part should actually be happening, I think, right around here, I think. No, not, not yet. Yeah, but yeah, see, there's this drone that we're just kind of just chilling at right now, all like a conscious. Who am I? I don't even know anything. I cannot even think of it at all. Now, while we go through all these flashback type of stuff and whatnot that's going to happen, um, I think like Iko is going to like try and wake us up or something of, of that nature is going to happen. But then, uh, but then Zidane just kind of kind of goes off on his own. And this is where we kind of have to go and just take care of all the different uh, battles on our own time. But again, uh, we have to wait until we get ourselves with the next uh, Moogle. That's going to be literally happening right after all these little sub-bosses that, that kind of happens around out here. You're always there for me, Prox. Yes, we were always there for everybody out here, so I'm so tired. As you come, you're always so... Uh, I am. I'm an empty vessel. Uh, don't say that, Zidane. Uh, who? Uh, wake up, Prox. Who? Uh, come on, Prox, wake up! Yep, and Iko and Vivi are here. So, ow. Brox. Uh, Vivi, Iko. Uh, so, thank goodness that you're alive. I thought you were dead. Oh, well, I... Uh, you were you were so worried. Why did you come here all by yourself? What? What are you all doing here? Uh, we, we came to go to save you, of course. And it wasn't easy. Uh, you went off all alone. Well, we're going to be doing that anyway. So, leave me alone. Uh, this has nothing to do with you. Now, I believe uh, this OST is actually known as You're Not Alone as well, which this is also a really great OST as well. Uh, but come on, Prox, uh, don't be like that. Let's uh, shut up. Just shut up, you stupid brat. Oh, well, that's not nice to go in and tell somebody like that. Aiko was was a big help on our team, and same with Beefy. Come on. 
Alright, well, Brox, wake up! Uh, you need rest, Brox. Uh, will you little twister shut up? Oh man, that's not cool, man. Uh oh. Well, there are some things that kids just can't understand. Well, here's one thing that we are gonna understand is that we're gonna get ourselves with our very first uh, boss that's gonna be out here. So let's go and do it. And, uh,. I believe if you go for like anything like uh, like anything like crazy wise of like attacking um, This guy is not gonna die because uh, this is all part of how the storyline is all gonna be about here Now we already do have the orc uh, the uh, the orc Kelkon out here So we should be able to do enough damage to kind of hopefully at least do something now We can go and try out for a steal as well. I don't know what else we could go and grab. Oh, it looks like you need some help. Hey, there's Freya all right, so now we're getting a little bit of some help here and there, but little by little. All right, let's see what uh, Freya can also go and do at this point. Oh wow, that was actually a miss, so that actually worked out pretty well in our favor here. Now I believe also Amrit is also be showing up as well too in the process. So uh, yep, so can you even go and take care of him yourself? So now everybody's here. So now we should be able to hopefully go and absolutely destroy this guy. So if you ever needed any type of practice, I guess, with this guy uh, before heading on over to Torino, uh, this would be uh, uh, the perfect opportunity to kind of figure out on, on what you need to do here uh, now for this battle. Yeah, I just have to watch out for that bio attack. That's going to be doing some extra damage. Uh, so now he's going back up into the air again. Not to worry about it. Yep, and I think he's already done, it looks like. Nice. All right, so that's perfect. So that's the first sub boss already done and finished with. All right, not bad. And uh, let's go ahead and over to the next one. Now this one is gonna be like really weird for what this sub boss kind of looks like. He's kind of like a weird type of bug creature. But we are gonna be having uh, Kina and Steiner up next. So we already do have uh, those uh, equipment already set to. Uh, Kina and also with Steiner there, but I will be changing up uh, around with Steiner at some point anyways uh, Because I know that I do have another checklist that is gonna help us out on uh, uh, So I won't be defeated so easily. Well now I'm mad. I cook you good uh, Steiner, Kina, what are you guys all doing? Uh, have a taste of this uh, and here we go. Let the battle commence Now I don't know if I should probably go ahead and heal up on Prox for a quick second But I don't really think that this guy really should be all that too dangerous anyways, so if you already have like the good uh, enough items that are here, like the room blade or anything like uh, set to uh, the Steiner, then then you should be okay. Oh, or okay, or it could just miss. Uh, let's go for we need Twister, just like that. Hopefully that does enough damage. Now it's kind of RNG, so we may probably not get like the best of damage here already. Wow, it already did. Nice. All right, cool. All right, let's go for another one. Oh, watch out for the blade attack. Oof, 525 damage, but we're all good. All right, not too bad there. Now let's go and set up for another twister, and we should be all right and ready to go out here. Do your thing, Kina. Blow this guy away for another another crazy amount of damage out here. Oh, 385. Yeah, sometimes it's just kind of different with each other. So you're late, Prox. Well. At least he showed up at the right exact time, though. Just before we're going to be almost about to be knocking him out. Alright, so here we go. High wind attack. Ouch, this may probably hurt a bit on everybody. Alright, let's go and set this up immediately. Twister, let's go. Oh, he's almost done, I think. Because I think just with this last Twister, should at least uh, be able to kind of help us out. Oh, no, I should have went and healed up Akita, not on a... Uh... Well, that was annoying. All right, let me just go and uh, set up a high potion on Kina there. Just so that we don't have to lose out on Kina, because I want to make sure that we still have all of our... Uh, ooh, Dundaga may probably do enough damage that may probably hurt Kina. Oh, no, it's actually going to hurt a little bit on, uh, on Steiner, so we're all good. All right, let's go to attack mode again. All right, so high potion, let's go and set that up. All right, so at least Kina is a little bit better now. Twister time! Let's do it! Go do your thing, Kita. Hopefully this does enough damage this time around. And I think it does, and it knocks him out. Perfect. So yeah, this guy also doesn't really have any great items either, so... 
that's already done. All right. Now we got ourselves just one more little boss that we just have to go and take care of. So what an unworthy opponent. So Prox, you can no leave us. I just don't want to take me to a place where there's lots of good food. Well, we already kind of have done that from before, but I guess it was kind of like all in uh, Kita's head over back over at uh, Quail's, well, sorry, over at uh, Quad's place where uh, Vivi's grandpa was at in that little uh, side mission event there. So while we're still walking around here, uh, you're all just a bunch of babysitting. Uh, well, we can't really go say that word here on, the, on this channel, but man. Well, here is the last one, so, but trust me, I know that uh, this is the worst uh, here. Well, not to worry. Now, this one, I think we kind of have to take uh, some of the damage out in this place, right? Because I'm pretty sure that uh, Dagger will be showing up and she'll basically be uh, healing ourselves up uh, during this time. Even though that we don't really have uh, any ice moves right now at the moment to kind of do anything. But we'll just quickly go and do some stealing and whatnot and see what we can go and grab from this guy. Just watch out for the charge, no ouch. See, look how much damage that does. This is like a thousand damage, man. All right, we got ourselves a Phoenix down. Now, I guess we'll have to go for maybe one more hit. All right, let's go and see what we can do here. Yeah, okay, it did like 20, well, around like 2,000 damage. I almost said 20,000. I don't think so. All right, let's go for a high potion. No, 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 no. We're not going to heal it up on the shell dragon. No, thank you. That guy was a little bit dangerous from, from, uh, from previously from before. All right, so we're all good for that. He does have Earthshake. Owie. Uh, that's gonna hurt a bit. But at least the good thing is, is that I think we have the Gaia Gear still on. So that will, uh, so that will kind of heal us ourselves up a little bit for this. Nope. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, perfect. Yep, did not go and uh, misplace around with the Gaia Gear at all. Come on, Dagger, where are you? Alright, let's just go for another attack. Uh. Oh, no, another charge. Ouch. 630 damage. At least that was a little bit better. Now, if I am right, and if we do have to go down to one, and if Dagger actually does show up, then we'll probably have to get down two there. So let's just go ahead and head out for another attack. But hopefully Dagger can show up at least at some point. Ouch! That did one damage to me. Dang it. Ugh. Yep, so now here is a uh, Dagger that's going to finally show up at this point. Yep, we're finally fully healed back up with the power of Dagger. Hey, how's it going, Dagger? Dagger? Yep, she's finally here. This is how you want to go and solve the problem? Well, now it's finally time to go and just go into attack mode and set up for the shaman and set up for Shiva and just absolutely obliterate this guy once and for all. And then we'll go and finally save up out here. Now, the team that I actually do have uh, for Pandemonium, uh, for this whole dungeon itself, is that I do have both Ico, uh, I think, what's it, Steiner, Amrit, and Zidane. So those are the four uh, people that we're going to be having uh, for the final part of this disc. Um, now, I will go and show you guys uh, within the next video uh, with everything that's going to be there uh, for all the different equipment and abilities and whatnot that's going to happen. Earthshake, just watch out for this one. Unfortunately, we don't have Gaia Gear on Dagger, but... At least we'll be able to get ourselves all healed up, though. Get yourself for another Shiva attack. And I think with just like that, the Shell Dragon is down and out. So sweet. Okay. And nice. Also got ourselves a little bit of an extra ability uh, upgrade as well, too, from that. And... So, Dagger, so uh, you try to do everything by yourself, don't you? Well, try to understand, but I don't want to go and cause trouble to anyone. Why aren't you your friends? Uh, I just want to think so, but that's why I always. Well, look, I'm not from Guy. I was just a hair uh, beneath uh, from becoming the destroyer of Alexandra. I can't accept your friendship so easily. Well, you always protected us. But you still don't understand that you looked out for you, too. We watched your back while you watched ours, and we believe in you in the same way that you believed in us. Just like you protected us. Well, we want to go and protect you too. Well, Dagger, now you say it. My master tell me that somebody, uh, you tasties, uh, you gave them uh, tasties too, and it's good manners. I still not cook you succulent frog yet, Prox. Uh, well, I don't think we really want to have a frog, but uh, she really requires a knight to look after your comrades in arms, but I will not abandon you. And I shall uh, follow you to the kingdom if I must, so you must remember that. So, Steiner. All right, so, well, what am I gonna go and do with you guys? Well, the feeling is mutual. Alright, so let's go. So wait, uh, where are the other four? 
well, I believe they're back over at the same place that we were kind of resting over where that chair was at. So you should not have left them. Well, that's right. I mean, really. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead back together this time. Yes, yeah, so let's go and do that. All right, and with that being said in mind, let's go and head on through these door here. Now, be careful, because I think there is some enemies that will try to go and fight us as well, too. So, if you are not too careful enough. But there we go, head on through this door. And I think we should almost about to be back here. So, yeah, so let's just kind of fast forward through most of this. And we'll kind of get our team all set up and ready to go before we end off the episode. So, Moogle follow me all the way from Brawl Ball. Uh, so just tell me if you need some rest, Koopo. All right. Well, perfect. So there's a Moogle right here. Okay, so let's start moving around with our team. So we're going to bring out Ico down below. We're going to bring out Amrit over to the side over here. And there we go. That's our team. Let's just do a little bit of a quick save as well. And I think we're good. So yeah, you can always go and switch around with your characters as well too. Uh, from this Moogle, if you ever do need to worry about doing that. But I think I'm okay for what we actually do have now. And there we go, and I think we are totally set. Alright, so anyways, I'm going to end this off here for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one of Fall Fantasy Night, And also, too, hope you guys stick around for the Pokemon uh, Rumble episode as well, too, uh, for these two videos for today. I'll see you guys then, and of course, peace.